If you've never been at your wit's end, or if you've never been to the end of your rope, the oldest saints used to always say, son, daughter, just keep living. Amen. Trouble has your address, knows where you live, and if you live long enough, we'll come by to see you and we'll come in uninvited. But the good news this morning is that there is one who understands everything that we go through. And that what seems impossible is just God's opportunity to show himself to be able. That when our strength is zapped, God's strength becomes perfected in our human weakness. Yet, if we could avoid it, we would say we don't want to have to go down the road where trouble looms. But just life itself would take us through seasons of trouble. Some more than others. Sometimes folks say, I, I wish that he would have somebody else that dress because he's been living in my house for too long. My season of, of stress and grief uh, and disappointment and, and disillusionment has lasted a little too long and I'm ready to move on. I don't want to walk through this road. But I come to tell you this morning that the words of Jesus gives us comfort in our season of distress and grief. They're still wondering. They're, they're still asking questions. Their, their mind, their spirits have not settled down. Their emotions are all over the place because now the words of Jesus today are put together with words that he had spoken at other times. And, and they have running in their mind all of the things that Jesus had been saying to them. Everything seems to be coming to a head. Jesus was talking to them about being betrayed and being handed over and dying for the sins of the world. They really didn't understand it, but let me tell you, their emotions were all over the place. And so when Thomas' question didn't settle their spirit, Philip also spoke up. Philip said, Lord, uh, we need help here. Lord, show us the Father and, and we'll be satisfied. Uh, in other words, we need something else. You, you, you know how it is when, when somebody gives you a word or a scripture or a prayer or somebody gives you a word of encouragement, but you say, but I'm still yet as, a, as I'm emotionally as wrecked as I ever been. I'm still here. Lord, help me. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father and it will, it'll satisfy us. 
So Jesus said to them, have I been so long with you and you still don't know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How are you saying now, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I'm in the Father and the Father is in me? The words I speak, I don't speak my own words, but the Father who dwells in me, he does the work. Don't you understand that I'm not out here by myself? I didn't make this up. I'm not doing this by myself. The Father has sent me. He's doing the work in me. When you see me, you have seen the Father. If you really know me, you would have known the Father. The works I do. And if you don't believe my words, the works, the stuff I've done that you've never seen anybody else do before. You've seen me walk on water. You've seen me calm the raging sea. You've seen me heal the sick, give sight to the blind. Everything you've seen me do, it's the Father who's doing the work in you. And prosperity. The Moses words of asking God, if I go and tell Pharaoh, you said, let your people go. He's going to want to know who is this God. He's going to want to know your name and the word that, Jesus, that, that God said to Moses. Just tell him that I am. That I am sent you. And so when you hear Jesus say, I am, he said, I'm the same one that was with Moses. I am that I am. In other words, whatever you need, I'm that. When you're troubled, I'm a counselor. When you're sick, I'm a doctor. When you're hungry, I'm bread for you. When you're thirsty, I'm water for you. When you're lonely, I'm a friend that sticks closer than a brother. When you're lost, I'm a savior. When you need somebody to be with you, I'm the one that'll go with you all the way to the end. Oh, I come to tell you this morning, I know you have troubles in life. But aren't you glad that trouble doesn't last always? Aren't you glad that trouble is only for a season? Aren't you glad that when you go through, you do not go through by yourself? Jesus said, it's, you don't understand it now, but it's for your benefit that I go back to my father. Because when I go back to him, I got something else for you. When I go back to him, I'm going to send one that's going to be with you. See, they had gotten so used to being with Jesus. They had gotten comfortable now walking with Jesus. They had gotten comfortable to the physical presence of Jesus. God, and, and so they couldn't imagine not having Jesus around. But Jesus said to them, see, if I stay here, I'm in this body, I'm limited by time and space. In other words, I can only be one place at one time. But when I go back to my daddy, I'm going to send the spirit. And I can only be beside you when I'm here walking with you. But when I go back to my father, I'm going to send you another comforter that's going to live on the inside of you. And Beverly, when you on the road and you wasn't even expecting it and, and, and somebody else's car hits your car and you spin around right in the midst of that moment, he is there in the car with you. And when your spirits and emotions are going all over the place, he is saying, I got you, I'm with you. You're not in this thing by your Self. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. I'm going to my daddy and I'm going to get a place ready for you. And when the place is ready, I'm coming back and I'm going to receive you unto myself. Oh, the good news this morning is that we are not in this thing by ourselves. And we have somebody who's with us. He understands what we are going through. Whatever troubles you have in your life. I've come to tell you that you can trust Jesus. Yes. You can trust in him because the old songs, they used to say much about it. One hymn writer said, I came to Jesus as I was. See, sometimes uh, you feel like in certain places you got to get yourself ready. You got to get yourself dressed. You got to get yourself fixed. But the songwriter said, I came to him as I was. I was weary wound and sad but what I found in him is a resting place and he has made me glad oh you can come to him broken and battered and bruised but I come to tell you that you don't leave the same way that you 
came when you come to Jesus and bring your brokenness. He can handle your broken emotions. He can handle your problem. He can handle your tears. Yes, yes. Oh, I just come to tell you this morning that he is a comforter. Yes, yes. And he will stick with you and he'll be with you to the very end. I, 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 Children I, shall be free. It's a new season. It's a new season. If you don't know but now, you need to know it's Jubilee. Redemption canceled and children walk in victory.